The Earth Tree is a parasite. Every Elden Ring lore YouTuber I watch has taken a stab at America's goals, but none of them have talked about what the Greater Will's goals might be. And I think that's weird because I think it's obvious. It seems like outer gods need a powerful terrestrial being to serve as their host in the lands between if they want to get anything done there. The Greater Will uses America. Mode tried to use Mikola for the Formless Mother. The player themselves can be the vessel for Burning Eyeball Boy. Millennia is the vessel for the Scarlet Rot. Someone had to have been the host for the Twin Bird. They all need a host, but what would any outer god gain by establishing a presence in the lands between? Stick with me, we're getting there. Prior to the Greater World's arrival, other cultures dominated. Each had their own take on how life and death worked, depending on the outer god they adhered to. The Greater Will rolls in with its vassal beast and with, or by using, Merica, forges the Elden Ring and binds all power of life and death in the lands between under its dominion. Especially with Destined Death bound in the ring. You ever notice how when Malekith drops Destined Death, it looks kind of like someone is crucified at the top of the ring? Much like all the depictions of Merica have her looking like she's crucified at the bottom of the ring. My theory is Destined Death was already anchored to a host and the Greater Will usurped its power by binding that host into the ring just like Merica and Radagon were bound there. I wonder who that could be. Merica shatters the Elden Ring, which reduces the Greater Will's foothold here, and then she, it, they, we don't really know, I don't know, at least do you know, summons the Tarnished back to do what? The path of least resistance is the Age of Fracture ending, where you assemble the ring together, mostly good. Take it out of the trash, rinse it off, just kind of get it together there with some crazy glue. And then Destined Death is bound in the ring, which is honestly the most important part of it as far as the Earth Tree slash Elden Ring slash Vassal Beast slash Monstrous Monstrosity called the Greater Will is concerned. Merica still serves as this hapless vessel, and she's even less able to resist now that you didn't help her out and the previous holders of the death rune are completely destroyed. That means the greater will can keep doing what it wants, what it's wanted the whole time. What was its goal? To gobble up the dead. There it is. Look, look right there and there and there. Gobble, gobble. All it wants is to eat the dead. Why bury them? Why light them on ghost fire? Why let them wander around in any other way when the greater will can gobble them up? Yummy, yummy, nom noms.